Welcome to Allied Images overview of the ET16 book scanner and visualizer. The ET16 uses a 16 megapixel CMOS array and can capture an area up to A3 size. We're going to show the process for digitizing a complete book from start to finish and creating a multi-page PDF file. We've loaded the ET16 scanning software and we'll now go into the scan module. On the right hand side of the screen, we have options for the type of color mode we want to capture in and also the type of document that we're capturing or the area of the document we want to capture. I'm going to give an overview of the area by switching on a webcam. First, we need to just adjust the mat so the camera is seeing everything correctly and align the book. I'm set to capture a single page and in color for the cover. When I use the foot switch to capture, you'll see some laser lines appear across the book. Let's switch to facing pages mode as we turn the page to do the inside cover. You'll see the laser lines appear again as I use the foot switch. Most of the remaining pages are in grayscale, so we'll switch grayscale mode and continue to work our way through the book. The lasers are used to correct for any curvature in the page. This process occurs automatically, along with the automatic detection of the page edges and cropping of the page. Because of the stiffness of the binding in some books, pages do not lay flat and need to be held with thumbs. The yellow thimbles help detect the location of the thumb on the page and for the thumb image to be automatically removed so it's not detected on the original page. The scanning process is a simple exercise of turning the page and pressing the foot switch or using a finger switch which is also supplied with the system. Now I'm not going to make you watch the whole process as we go through here but you'll get a feel for the productivity and the time that it's going to take. In actual fact, this whole book from start to finish took about 30 minutes and that was to produce the searchable PDF. So as you can see, I'm speeding this up now. In the top right of the screen, is an indication of the number of scans that we've made and the processing. The processing does lag slightly behind the capture. We're about halfway through the book here now and exactly the same process. The options on the right are for when scanning single pages or when scanning facing pages like we have now. But you can also indicate an area of the book and just scan part of the page or scan the whole area. Okay, we're, we're moving through now towards the end of the book. Last couple of pages. I'll switch the, uh, the settings here for the rear cover as a single page and in color and just capture that final page okay now again in the top right hand corner here um, it's waiting to catch up with the processing and it's now just done that so i can open up the folder which contains all the images and and as we look down i can see here that uh, a couple of the pages haven't been correctly processed um, just looking down through it the rest look okay or oh, no okay the very final pages that we did so let me go and close this down and back to the processing page and these are the color images in actual fact that I captured now what I can just do here is click on the color option and force that to be color um, when we actually captured these pages there was tracing paper over the facing page so i can delete that image 
and this one's in color so let's switch that back to color so there's our first page and then subsequently these are the process pages notice you can't see that the the thumbs have been successfully removed automatically and just clicking through here these all look okay okay so these are the pages that were incorrect so what i can do is to find that location and we have an option to replace the pages so once i've identified exactly that page we can just recapture it and process it again so i'm just going to hit the uh, replace option this will show me the uh, the capture screen again and there we go um, i'm going to capture this is grayscale and facing pages and just click the foot switch and that'll process it you can again I've indicated at the top right there um, one scanned and now hopefully one processed a second now and there it goes and there you go that page is correct and so is the the facing page so just need to probably find the uh, the last pages and do the same again so there's the final back cover and these are the pages i need to replace again so let's just go to the, the back of the book and that looks to be it so uh, when we're ready here to go on to the replace there's the overview and i can just hit the foot switch and once again that's scanned one just waiting for that to process and there you go and lo and behold that all looks good okay that's great So what we want to do now is to export all of these pages and create a searchable PDF. Uh, we'll do that with English, as many languages that it supports. And we'll type in the name of the PDF document it's going to create. And we'll just save that. And now it goes through several stages, which can take two or three minutes to process the pages. You can see here the rate and the speed in which it's first of all loading all the images and then once it's loaded them it will start to go through an OCR process which I'll speed up just for the sake of uh, letting you see the end result but you'll get an idea as to the speed and the time that it would take As I mentioned before, this whole process took just a few uh, a few minutes in actual fact, about 30, 35 minutes to do the whole book. Okay, I've just jumped ahead a little bit there, but you can see the number of pages and how quick it's doing it. It's It's a page every one to two seconds. And then once it's processed all the pages, it will then start to write the PDF and to save these onto the uh, onto the hard drive. So I think that's the final page OCR'd and uh, it'll go through the, the exporting. Uh, we were very impressed with the quality of the, the OCR. It's using Abbey um, OCR engine and uh, it does a pretty good job so there you go finally done and this is the folder uh, let me just refresh that I'm sure it's there yeah there it is so color front cover color inside cover pages then I switch to mono switch those two pictures back to being color you can see the uh, the detail and the quality of the color. Uh, 
and I'll just uh, I'm showing this as a two page view and uh, what I'll do here is just uh, go through a few pages so you can see what it looks like uh, let's do a search garden pretty sure there's a few occurrences of that yeah there you go so all the text has been successfully OCR'd and we've been very impressed with the, the quality um, let's just uh, go and show you this the color of the back page and I'll zoom in and uh, show you some detail So the ET16, an excellent digitizer and visualizer. And the good thing about it, it only costs £395. Please give us a call or email us for any further questions. Thanks for watching and listening.